Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm gonna do a classic rock reaction, man. This is Led Zeppelin. And here we are, man. Uh, Led Zeppelin, In Through the Outdoor. Uh, starting uh, In Through the Outdoor now. And it's a track called um, uh, In the Evening. And uh, yeah, man, long time coming. And uh, going into it already with the impression that it is not one of their best albums. Hey. You know, where it comes to albums and the lineup of a chronology, there's got to be a best, there's got to be a worst. And uh, I've known already uh, with Led Zeppelin, even their very, very worst is still pretty damn good. Somebody can come along, take their worst stuff and have a great successful career with it. That I know. So having said that, I'm still looking forward to it. Uh, might not be anything notable, might not be notable hits on the album, but I already know, knowing what I know about Led Zeppelin, that I'm going to enjoy the shit now. So, let's check it out. Led Zeppelin, in the evening. Let's get it. That's eerie as hell. I like the drums in the background.
whatever he's doing to make that thunder lightning sound. Okay, man. In the evening. First track of side one of In Through the Outdoor. Hey, I love the hell out of this song. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, despite going into this with the most open mind I'm still it's kind of like you know you got the little Jiminy Crickets on your shoulder or remember this album is not the best this album is the shits I hate this album I still got little faint whispers like that so I'm approaching it very very carefully you know um, and I gotta remind myself that because I don't know the content of rock and roll and uh, I'm not uh, seeped in it. It's not my pedigree and all of these things. Uh, I'm very impressionable. And so when people say stuff to me like, oh man, this is not their best. I don't like it. They were at their lowest point and all of these things. A lot of that stuff comes with me. And then when I hear the music, it's completely, um, it burns all of that off. And I would say, a quarter of the way through the song, all of those little uh, things that was in my ear burns it all away. By the time I get to the end of this album, I'll have an impression to say to myself, okay, ranking all of the albums all together, uh, maybe this one is, um, I don't know, their weakest, if I should use that word, are not as stellar or not uh, as uh, on. Uh, on such a level as the others or whatever it is but you know what by now I know enough to know that we're talking about Led Zeppelin here and uh, I just remind myself quickly that even their worst is still really really good and I am really gonna enjoy it and so I gotta kind of keep that 
um, in my mind so I don't uh, get too swayed on either side. You know what I'm trying to say? I got to condition myself so that I'm not listening to anything too negative or I'm not getting overhyped with um, the irrational, fanatical Led Zeppelin fans either, right? So I want to stay in a, a, a balance somewhere. I love the hell out of this song though. That's what I'm trying to say. From the very, very beginning, that kind of a nice haunting feel and uh, the drums in the background and then the thunder drops. The vocals are great. I like the message behind the song and uh, as well, the solo, guitar solo, rich. Jimmy Page, the shit man. So, um, yo, so far so good for me. And again, uh, here I go again uh, with my little bits of uh, careful, careful doubts about the album. Yo, man, you know, the impressions that people have on you sometimes. But um, I'm going to do my best not to listen to the negativity uh, about this album, either by fans or by critics. I can't wait to hear what those guys got to say. <laughs> oh, so, man. Um, first and foremost, though, uh, I forgot to mention at the uh, top of this is that this is a back to back. So what I'm doing here is we've just listened to the studio account. We're going to listen to um, a live version of, uh, I believe it's Page and Plant in 95. And oh, by the way, sorry, Sherry, Sherry Cisco. Sherry, thank you for sending me those links. I appreciate it. Um, apologies, I did that before. I just jumped right in without um, uh, acknowledgement. So um, apologies for that. So what I'm going to do here, man, is I'm going to do the reading in the middle and then we're going to bounce and uh, check out um, our final uh, live version of this song. Um, so let's do a little background, man. A little background read on Led Zeppelin in through the outdoor and in the evening okay there's not a lot a ton of information a little bit more album info but uh, let's read what we got on the song man. in the evening so in the evening is the first song by on Led Zeppelin's 1979 album in through the outdoor Guitarist Jimmy Page uses a gizmotron to create the droning effects and sliding solo at the beginning of the song. A gizmotron is a guitar processing device invented by Lol Cream, C-R-E-M-E, -E, and Kevin Godley from the band 10CC to get a strange distorted sound. Hmm. 10CC. Uh, 1970s, right? Uh, I'm not in love. Is that who I'm thinking of? I'll, I'll look that up later. So live performances. The song was performed at Led Zeppelin concerts during 79 and 1980. During the 79 performances, it was played directly after Page's guitar distortion and violin bow solos, which incorporated a laser strobe to add to the visual effects. One such live version from Led Zeppelin's performance at Nebworth in 79 can be seen on the Led Zeppelin DVD. I'll probably have to do a, another um, a reaction to that Nebworth uh, performance down the road. Let me know if it's worthwhile to do so. Performances on the tour over Europe in 1980 sometimes lasted more than eight minutes. Plant revived in the evening on his Now and Zen solo tour in 1988. Page and Plant performed the song in some concerts in 95 and 96 on the accompanying tour for their 1994 live album, No Quarter, Jimmy Page and Robert Plant on Let It. The lyrics are about how the rich and famous are still exposed to pain and suffering, just in different ways. Robert Plant called this song a great, a great one, a real stomper. Hmm. I was getting from the lyrics that it was about um, struggles in a relationship and how, um, you know, uh, maybe it's the lady more so taking him for granted. And then finally, when he leaves, now she's uh, she's only got herself to blame. That's kind of like what I got from it. But uh, I'll, I'll listen to it some more. Get the lyrics in front of me. 
The intro was apparently taken from a soundtrack Jimmy Page was working on for fellow Aleister Crowley admirer Kenneth Anger's film Lucifer Rising. The soundtrack for the film ended up being provided by Bobby Basolel, B-E-A-U-S-O-L-E-I-L, a member of the Manson family. Hmm. Okay, so that's info for the song. Yeah, let's go down the reception. Critical reception. In a contemporary review for In Through the Outdoor, Charles M. Young of Rolling Stone called In the Evening the album's best track, describing the song as a classic Zeppelin orchestral guitar rumble halfway between When the Levee Breaks and In the Light. It has the only guitar it has the only great guitar riff on the entire album. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Uh, halfway uh, in between uh, uh, when the levee breaks and uh, in the light. I see where he's going with that. He also described the vocals as barely understandable. Okay. Yeah, I struggle uh, trying to understand uh, pay our plants sometimes. So I'm definitely not going to dispute that. And in a retrospective review of In Through the Outdoor, the deluxe edition, Andrew Duskus of Pop Matters believed In Through the Outdoor to be, quote, a phoned in effort, actually sounding more like Led Zeppelin phoning in a phoned in attempt at a pop song, unquote. Damn, man. Critics have no problem letting you know what they think, do they? It's not that damn bad. I don't care what you say. Duskus also found Plant's vocals on the song barely understandable. Okay. <laughs> Both critics said the exact same thing. It's as if they call each other and say, yeah, say this, say this. Anyway, hey man, it's their opinion. It's what they're paid to do. They can't always uh, give you praise, and they gotta give you the, the good, the bad, and the ugly. That's that's a critic's purpose, so they're doing their thing. Um, I think it's a great song. Uh, maybe not their absolute best song, but it's by far not their absolute worst song. I think it's a great song, and I love the hell out of it, so there you go. Uh, I probably wouldn't last a day as a damn critic. I'd get my ass fired. All right, so let's um, let's check out the live rendition, man. Uh, being Page and Plant in '95. Uh, All right. In the evening, Page and Plant. Let's get it. Orchestra going on here.
Sure. 
understanding. So, okay, yeah, this is in uh, Detroit. Excellent, man. Wow. Two really, really good renditions of this song. One studio, of course, one live. And uh, many years later, you know, um, definitely Jimmy looked like he was, um, I don't know, high on something. But all the same, man, great masterful performance there, man. Loved that intro in the beginning, the orchestra backing him up. Fantastic, man. Really adds a lot of great depths and layers to a, on, an already really excellent song. And uh, where it comes to lyrics and understanding uh, Plant, this version was very, very clear. You know, a little bit of a, of a strain with the studio, and I think of all of the amplified um, music around him, you couldn't hear it, it drowned him out a little bit. But this live showcase was really, really good. I can understand everything he was singing. Fantastic, man. Hey, this is a great song. And um, I'm looking forward to the rest of um, In Through the Outdoor. I know that uh, there's a country kind of song. And I also know, I did a What Makes John, wait, what makes John Bonham such a great drummer. And there's kind of like a reggae calypso uh, kind of song. Uh, coming up. So I already know that this album has tunes that I'm really, really going to like. So I'm going to wait and and, uh, and check those out. So in regards to approaching the album and being careful and I'm not going to like it as much and all of that sort of thing, that judgment's going to be mine and mine alone, man. So, all right. Um, what have I got coming up? I'm just going to scroll down, man, and just... Uh, just check my notes here before I bounce. Hmm. Okay, yeah. So, as I'm shooting this, just to give you an update. Um, and when I say update, I'm not sure what platform you're watching this reaction on. It could be my Patreon. It could be Vimeo. If we're lucky enough to actually get it up onto YouTube and you're watching this from YouTube, uh, that means that I'm now back on the YouTube platform. That means that I'm now... Um, found a way to navigate and uh, be cohesive with the whole COPPA stuff and all of that. And uh, you're seeing uh, this reaction based on me making sure that I fit those parameters where COPPA is concerned. You're probably seeing a few flashes on the screen saying that this is, um, you know, for um, kids 13 and older. So uh, that's how I'm going to approach the COPPA thing going forward with all of my videos. So and pulling everything down from YouTube and then re-uploading, I'm glad I was able to do that because I can actually add some of those cards. Now, uh, what else was I going to say about YouTube? You know what? I'm going to leave the whole copy thing alone because it'll basically just turn into a rant. YouTube, man, it's their rules, their platform, their rules. And that's all I'm going to say about that. They're doing what they've got to do to keep themselves um, uh, safe and um and that's all that's all there is so i'm not going to say anything about copper all right man um so in regards to led zeppelin get back to me and let me know if i should do also a, a reaction to this song from their nebworth i believe it's 1979 nebworth show or is it 1980 i'm not sure let me know if i should do that if it's worth checking out uh, the live version, if it's got good sound quality and whatnot, as good as this page and plant performance, I'll definitely do that, man. Uh, and yeah, so that's basically uh, my notes. My big thing is um, I'm going I'm coming back to YouTube, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. You know, I miss uh, a number of uh, subscribers and the relationship I had with a number of the subscribers. So uh, I'm looking forward to coming back to YouTube, man. Where Led Zeppelin is concerned, I'm uploading all of the Led Zeppelins first, putting it in a playlist. And so you can basically just click all, download all. All of the um, Zeppelin reactions that are allowed upon YouTube Half of the Zeppelin reactions don't make it onto YouTube, so you're going to have to go searching either uh, Patreon or um, uh, Vimeo. And if you don't see it on either platforms or you just don't want to scroll down forever, uh, send me a note and I'll re-upload. 
And so then you can check out that, you know, that reaction. You'll probably have to go to a different platform if you don't see it on YouTube. But that's my update for Led Zeppelin. Great song. Love the song. Think it's an excellent tune. Looking forward to getting into In Through the Outdoor and making up my own mind as to what I think this album is about, how it fits in with their chronology and all of that sort of thing. So you guys have yourselves a good one. I'm look, uh, sorry, I don't know what the other track is coming up. Uh, that'll be next weekend sometime. But all the same, you guys have yourselves a good day. And I'll see you in my next Zeppelin reaction. Peace out.